Oh my god, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's nothing against the, the horse shit, right? <laughs> The door just shut and locked. I think. Especially with that thing rolling. Oh, maybe it wasn't the door. Okay, well, once again, tell them, tell them I stopped by. And I want to discuss pony policy in the Grand State and, of course, the rebuilding of the old man in the mountain. <laughs> very important, very important to my voters. Sounds good. All right, thank you. Thank you, sir. Is that so okay? We're here in the in. New Hampshire State House. We're in the Secretary of State's office. Uh, we're waiting on uh, Mr. Bill Gardner. Oh. And, uh, and oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I guess yes, we're gonna hold it up there. So, so high. So. Yes. Wonderful. I'd like to welcome you all once again to this exciting press conference. Um, are there any questions? How are you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling exhilarated. Uh, we just rode a horse and ponies uh, down a couple miles. Uh, from uptown across town uh, to here. It was a guns and pony parade. Uh, we had guns, we had ponies, we had armed ponies. And uh, of course, the uh, First Amendment of the Constitution certainly guarantees us uh, the right of ponies to freely assembly and uh, petition the government for a redress of their pony grievances. And uh, so we exercised that today. And, we, uh, and of course, the US Constitution also allows uh, the arming of ponies. Uh, the the, uh, won't, uh, the government won't infringe the rights of the ponies to arm themselves. Uh, so we thought it was important today to. Uh, express that and also we're here demonstrating our support for the third amendment of the u.s constitution uh, i'm not going to let any soldiers sleep in my house without my permission and i hope you won't either uh, the fourth amendment of course very important against unreasonable search and seizure so we're supporting that also just in case that happened and of course the fifth amendment against uh, self-incrimination and, and things like that the rest of the amendments are all very important and good too uh, so we are here today um, uh, exercising our rights, uh, and we are certainly uh, exercising our rights to run for president here in New Hampshire because one of the most beautiful things about running for president is it is a self-declarative statement. All you have to say are the magic words, I am running for president, and it becomes an indisputable fact. It becomes reality, and nobody can disprove it. That's one of the things that I very much enjoyed about 
uh, running for president uh, these many years, and uh, that anybody can do it. And of course, in the great uh, state of New Hampshire, anybody can also uh, get on the ballot uh, for a cool thousand bucks. And uh, that's, well, almost anybody. <laughs> Sorry, Rod Epstein didn't kill himself. Ever. Uh, but other than that, <laughs> almost anybody can be on the presidential ballot if they fit the requirements and uh, all the uh, bureaucratic uh, minutia that, uh, that exists in the uh, statutes and what have you. And of course, Mr. Gardner has uh, ultimate discretion in this, and uh, that's why we all like to, you know, be nice to him and kiss his ass a little from our, our people. And uh, so we're waiting for Mr. Gardner to come here because uh, apparently uh, this is the last day of the filing period uh, here in New Hampshire to uh, get on the ballot of New Hampshire. And uh, so I just wanted to take that opportunity to to stop on by here. And um, yes, Reverend, are you, you going to stop? Yeah.